Hey students, today I have come up with a very interesting topic. So we all know what do we deal with when it comes to linear equations and you have learned this topic a lot many times in your school books. But do we would know that we can also relate it to our real life and that's the beauty of mathematics when you can relate the mathematical topics to your everyday life. So today I will be talking about linear equations for temperature scales. So let's get started. So here you can see this is the weather report of USA and just look at the numbers over here. The temperature is 61 degree, 84 degree, 101 degrees, 92 degrees. The numbers are really big. Now take a look at this. Here you can see the weather of India over here. Now look at the numbers. The numbers are really small. 27 degree, 28 degrees, 29 degrees and so on like this. Now if you observe this carefully, if you try to compare the weather of both of these places, what we see here is that it seems like the USA is way more hotter than India. But in reality, it's just the opposite. So how is it possible? Actually, USA uses the Fahrenheit scale to measure the temperature. Whereas we in India, we use the Celsius scale to measure the temperature. Now let's see how we got these two scales and how linear equations helped us in resolving this confusion. Now take a look here. This is Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit, the person behind the invention of Fahrenheit scale. So with the invention of mercury, there was a need to make a scale to measure the temperature. So Fahrenheit understood that the scale needs to be universal and the temperature must show the same reading anywhere in the world. So that's why he chose water, the most common thing available, right? So he observed that the water freezes at a certain temperature and boils also at a certain temperature. So he marked 32 for the freezing point and 212 for the boiling point and both these temperatures were separated by 180 degrees. Now talking about the Celsius scale, so Anders Celsius actually invented it. So Celsius found that the Fahrenheit scale is a little bit confusing. So he simplified it by taking the smaller numbers, taking simpler numbers like the freezing point of water at 0 and boiling point of water at 100 degrees Celsius and separated both these points by 100. Now, we have both these scales, it's, it's being used in different parts of the world, right? And thus, we need a conversion equation. But trust me, the conversion is not that simple. It's not that simple like we convert from meter to centimeter. So actually, these scales have a mismatch. As you can see here, at 0 degrees in the Celsius scale, and if you see here at the Fahrenheit scale, it is already at 32, right? So, what we did was, Basically, we can see here, not only this, clearly 100 degrees increase in Celsius scale is actually equivalent to 180 degree increase in Fahrenheit scale. So that means 100 degree rise in Celsius scale is equal to 180 degree rise in the Fahrenheit scale. So I can say from here is 1 degree rise in Celsius scale is going to be equals to 180 by 100, which is basically 18 by 10, that's going to be equals to 1.8 degrees increase in the Fahrenheit scale. So I can say one thing from here, for every 1 degree rise in Celsius scale, it's going to be equals to 1.8 degree rise in the Fahrenheit scale. While you can see that the Celsius scale, when it increases from 0 to 1 degrees, then the Fahrenheit scale is, is increasing from 32 degrees to 38 degrees, right? So we can use this observation to frame the equation and that way we can, this will help us to convert the Celsius temperature to the Fahrenheit temperature. So let's first use the variable f for the Fahrenheit reading and c for the Celsius reading. So here we are going to convert 0 degree Celsius and 1 degree Celsius to the Fahrenheit. So what we can say here is that this f, the Fahrenheit reading that is going to be equals to, so for 0 degree Celsius, when this is at 0 in the Celsius scale, here it is already at 32, so I will write 32 here, right? Since for every 1 degree rise in the Celsius scale, there is 1.8 degree rise in the Fahrenheit scale, right? So 32 is the beginning point. So I'll multiply this 1.8 over here with 0 degree Celsius. So the answer is 1.8 times 0 is going to be 0. So 32 plus 0 is going to be 32. So 0 degree Celsius is actually equals to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, that means. Now for 1 degree Celsius, so already it starts from 32. Right, for every 1 degree rise in Celsius scale, there is 1.8 degree rise in Fahrenheit scale. So I'll multiply this 1.8 with 1 degree Celsius over here. That's going to be 32 plus 1.8, which is going to be 33.8 over here. So that's how we can convert temperatures from Celsius scale to Fahrenheit scale. So that's how we come to the final equation, which is F equals to 32 plus 1.8 C, which can be used for the conversion of these two, uh, these two, uh, these two scales. Alright, so do let me know in the comment section how you like this video.